Good morning. My name is Ernest Pugh. I'm interviewing Tracy Shipman for the second time. This time we're talking about football. Pro football and college football. Mr. Shipman, you think the Philadelphia Eagles are going to return back to the Super Bowl? The answer is yes. Who you think going to meet them in the Super Bowl? What team? Well, now I suggest the same team from last year, the New England Patriots. Okay. If the New England Patriots don't make it, who who you think will be the next team? I say the Jacksonville Jaguars. Yeah. Explain. Well, according to everything from last year's playoff, the way the Jacksonville Jaguars went into Pittsburgh and beat Big Ben, the, the way the Jaguars beat Big Ben them last year, the Jaguars got good 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 defense. It depends on the quarterback on their quarterback. If Jacksonville stay like they are. And retain everything they're supposed to, with, but especially the quarterback, if it, it'd be Jacksonville. Okay. What you think about San Francisco? The 49ers? Yes. Oh, yeah. I said with the addition of. 49ers are good. If, if, if um, um, Waffalo plays smart and plays accurate as, as he came a little late, yeah, 49ers will be up there. Yeah. It, but the question is, can they make the playoffs? That's okay. the one thing that's important to them. What about the uh, Seahawks? Seahawks kind of be a, a, a kind of about under five, uh, kind of like five hundred. What would stop them from not going to the Super Bowl? Seattle. Yes. Well, the the Legion boom is gone. Now they win by Earl Thomas. It's safety. So, it depends on Russell Wilson. What about Green Bay? Um, Green Bay, I say if they, if everybody just focus on bringing the Packers back and don't be distracted by that Nelson and that other the play, the folks that left Green Bay like Nelson and that um, assistant. Okay. What about Chicago? Chicago. Got a long, got I say, got a long way to go. They doing, they improving, they improve. It's what's stopping them from not making the uh, playoff? Depends on the quarterback. The defense is gonna be better. It's just the quarterback. Okay. What about the uh, New Orleans Saints? If Sean Payton, I think the 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 Saints. Um, I think the Saints got a good chance. They just have to uh, beat the Carolina Panthers like they did last year. Beat the Panthers and the Falcons. If they play their division like they're supposed to, if they play, if Sean and Drew Brees work together and keep everything as it is from last year without distractions, yes, yeah, Saints will be back in. Okay, what about the Carolina Panthers? What they going to have to do to get to the Super Bowl? Um, if they want to get back to the Super Bowl like they did against Denver uh, two years ago, they, they, uh, Cam Newton got to gotta be a big boy. He got to play like he when he first started, first came there. Play, play excellent, no distractions. Okay. What about Atlanta? Julio Jones. It's real on Julio Jones. Explain. Well, Julio Jones wasn't about that contract. And um, since they signed Matt Ryan for a, a big deal, now it's on Julio Jones. I think if the, if the Falcons, if Arthur Blanks, the owner, don't come up and pay Julio the, the amount, of, amount of money he wants, he will walk out. Green Bay. Green Bay, same thing. Aaron Rodgers, it's on him. He's a bad man, but he has to show that Packers can get at least one more, get back to the Super Bowl.
What's stopping Green Bay from getting back to the Super Bowl? Aaron Rodgers. Well, the quarterback is just one person. But it's up to the defense. Okay, do they have a good defense or do they have to build, build. a dip? Okay. They had to build up the defense. Okay. The Rams. Well, wow. the Rams, they got a good defense. I says it I says on air I said besides Aaron Donald's the missing piece. They have to be give him a large contract. If they give him a large contract, I give it to the Rams. But they need they need to they need to protect their quarterback. Mm -hmm. If Jail Golf played like he did last year and they soon to play smart, they would be up there. Okay, the Raiders. Raiders? John Gruden has to convince Cleo Matt to come back and do his job. They paid Gruden a hundred, a hundred million. Okay, what about Tampa Buccaneers? Well, distraction of Jameis Winston. But somebody the oop uh oop oop driver female. Explain. Well, um, the way according to the, the report is he was drunk. He was drunk and had a couple of guys in the Uber driver like they was feeling on her or whatever stuff. But all I know is they were thinking about firing Mr. Winston by letting him go. But he is a good quarterback. Yes. He just needed to grow up. Yeah. Okay, let's talk about college. Okay. Alabama. Same way. It Coach Saban plays like he did last year. He did the smart thing by bringing in number 13 and took Hurst out. If he plays the same way with number 13 and everything goes right, Alabama's right back up there. Yeah, but what about the quarterback that they have? Um, Hurst, Hurst, uh, the quarterback they got now, Hurst, I guess, sorry, Hurst, you know, can't compete with number 13 for the starting job. Who should get the starting job? Number 13. Why? Because he, the way he performed, and last year, he came in the second half. Yes, but that don't mean he should get the uh, the leading job as the starting quarterback. True, but if everything stays, if if if, if they keep Hurst, then it's going to be problems. It's so going to be what? I said it's going to be some problems. You think it's going to be problems? Yeah, if they, keep, if they put Hurst back as quarterback, the chances not gonna go. They ain't. They ain't gonna get. They ain't gonna. If they get back to what they was last year, then they gonna wind up losing the super, lose the championship. Okay. What about Auburn? Auburn is up there. They just. They. They. They just. We organize. We organize. And they were last year. Okay. Mississippi? Mississippi. I say the same thing. Oh, organized. We organized. Okay. Their coach Freeze is gone. So they need now they got a new coach. Okay. Georgia Tech. Georgia Tech got a lot of a lot of uh, they got regroup and build back up. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm talking to Trace, Mr. Tracy Shipman. This is his own personal opinion of what he's saying. Don't have no relate on any other thing. This is his personal opinion on all the teams we are talking about. Except, except one, another team you forgot to ask me about. Okay, tell me. George. Yeah, yeah, whoa, I am sorry, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs>
I missed that Georgia team. All right, Mr. Chairman. Uh, Georgia, I think Georgia going to do the same thing they did last year. They're going to play tough. And I have a feeling, I believe Georgia, if Georgia plays like they did last year, they're going to be back in the national championship against Alabama in a week match. If Georgia make it back to the national championship, which team do you think going to win between Georgia, Alabama, or Auburn? If one of them, two of them teams, one of the two of them teams go back. Well, I look at if if Mark Gonzalez, the the coach of Auburn behind me, if he thinks like if I was a his shoes and I play, if I want to play Alabama again, I would not. I'll make sure this time I will force I force Alabama to win. Oh, Mark Gonzalez needs to get be like Nick Saban. Play, play like Nick said, follow, follow the family. I believe, uh, I believe Auburn would be, have a chance, but I say Georgia would have a better chance than Auburn would play like that. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this includes the interview with Mr. Chipman. Chipman, I mean to say, about football.